Hey, good evening. It's uh, Wednesday, April 10th, and welcome back to Everyday Talks 24-7. I told you I had some really great questions for Q&A Friday. I couldn't get them all in, so I'm going to try and answer them over the next couple of days. This one is from Catherine, and I think probably Catherine's question is something that most of us can relate to. And sometimes we feel it all the time, sometimes it just kind of comes on us. But whenever we run into this issue, it's important. Here, here's a question. I've been feeling stuck recently. I feel as though my life isn't progressing in the way I thought it would. How can I feel peace in trusting God's plan? That's from Catherine. Catherine, that's a phenomenal question. The answer to that is being grounded in the way that God wants us to address problems. And right on cue, we have a psalm, which I think direct, directly addresses that. This is Psalm 63. So let me, let me read this, the first eight verses and kind of comment on them as they pertain to what Catherine is saying. And this, this is one of those psalms where the setting is very important to us. It says, a psalm of David regarding a time when David was in the wilderness of Judah. On the screen right now, you see an image of southern Israel, of Judah, of the wilderness. This gives you an idea of the starkness of what David is experiencing here. This is not just a walk in the park in some national park where it's beautiful scenery and all that, but this is being truly lost in the wilderness with nothing friendly around. So that sets the scene for us. So now, now we hear what David has to say to us. Oh God, you are my God. I earnestly search for you. My soul thirsts for you. My whole body longs for you in this parched and weary land where there is no water. You see, these are not just poetic words. David is voicing something which is urgent. He's got to find water. He's his soul is thirsty. His body is parched. And you look around this landscape that you saw on the screen. There's not very much hope around there, is there? So he's got to be earnest in his searching. So the word, the, word, the Hebrew for search here is, is eagerly. Literally, as his life depends on it. That's the kind of searching he's doing. So he's driven by this desire, thirsting for God, he's searching. And then we have three ways that the psalm gives us how to conduct that search. The first is praise. Praise is always what orients us. It's not saying the word praise over and over again, as we've talked about many times here, but praise is telling back to God the wonderful attributes of his character and the marvelous deeds that he's done. So in verses 2 through 5, David is consumed with those things. So listen to what he says. I have seen you in your sanctuary and gazed upon your power and glory. Your unfailing love is better than life itself. How I praise you. I will praise you as long as I live, lifting up my hands to you in prayer. You satisfy me more than the richest feast. I will praise you with songs of joy. So that's the first step in finding his way to becoming unstuck in the wilderness by focusing on the wonder of God, the wonder of his character, and the things that he does. Not interpreting the way that our flesh would interpret, not interpreting that the people of the world would interpret, but interpreting based upon what the word of God says. So that's the first step of becoming unstuck. You're on this earnest search, and you become unstuck by focusing on praise and the wonder of God. Then the second thing you do is in verse 5, or verse 6, I'm sorry. I lie awake thinking of you, meditating on you throughout the night. Meditation in the Bible is bringing something up, the truth of God, over and over and over again until it becomes a part of you. Not just saying it, not just to memorize it, not just to 
say, I know this verse and that verse, but so that it actually becomes a part of who you are. That's the key to meditation. So we take these issues of praise, and he says them over and over again. It's not what my view is, but God says he's faithful to me. So over and over again, I'm meditating on the wonders of God. I'm meditating on the content of the praise of God. And then the third thing that David brings up, we've got, first of all, we're going to be overcome with praise. Then we're going to meditate. And then the third thing is about verses 7 and 8. This is what he says here. Because you are my helper, I sing for joy in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you. Your strong right hand holds me securely. Your strong right hand holds me securely. In the middle of your stuckness, Catherine, you may feel abandoned, but the strong right hand of God has a hold of you. You are secure in your stuckness. Even if you may not think that you are, what this wonderful psalm is telling us is that you are secure with God. So I'm going to earnestly go on this search. I'm not going to sit and be sad about it. And then I conduct the search with three three ways. I'm remembering the praise of God, His great things, who He is and what He's done. I'm going to meditate on those things so they become a part of me. And then I'm going to know, because of that, that God has me securely in His hand. And Catherine, if you meditate on those things, hang on to them deeply, then you will find the security to wander through the wilderness to the place of hope. And that will lead you out of your stuckness and into the joy of God. Let me read these passages again for us as we close. O God, you are my God. I earnestly search for you. My soul thirsts for you. My whole body longs for you in this parched and weary land where there is no water. I have seen you in your sanctuary, engaged upon your power and glory. Your unfailing love is better than life itself. How I praise you. I will praise you as long as I live, lifting up my hands to you in prayer. You satisfy me with the richest feast. I will praise you with songs of joy. Sing. Get music that lifts you up to God. I will lie awake thinking of you, meditating on you throughout the night, because you are my helper. I will sing for joy in the shadow of your wings. I will cling to you. Your strong right hand holds me securely. That's the hope of Psalm 63. And Catherine, that's how we wander out of our stuckness and in to the glorious search where we know the peace of God. Okay, give me some thoughts and feedback. Catherine, especially, if we need to delve more, just get back and we'll do that. Thank you for your great question. We've got some more coming up. Thanks so much for being here tonight. And um, again, such a pleasure to be with you. The Lord bless you and we'll see you soon. Good night. Thank you for watching. May God richly bless you as you seek to live for His glory.